Our democracy is on the line here. Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman kicked off the Democrats' day of action in defense of the U.S. Postal Service at the post office in Ewing Township. She pointed to the deliberate work slowdown, removal of mail sorting machines and letter drop boxes, all ordered by the Trump administration's Postmaster General, Louis DeJoy. If we allow Donald Trump to steal this election, our democracy will go down in history as an experiment that failed. I'm not willing to be a part of that. This is just to try to suppress the vote uh, across the United States because he feels that the everyday citizen is not on his side. Between prescriptions and uh, Social Security or pension checks or whatever they're waiting for through the mail, um, it has a huge, huge influence on people and families, and I'm very upset about it. Constituents like Danielle Jean-Pierre complained of late mail, including her husband's heart medicine. And he just received it yesterday after waiting for about five days, and that's been a major, major issue for his health. Some voters here wonder whether during the pandemic, New Jersey's mostly vote by mail election could be imperiled by the Postmaster General's apparent attempts to deconstruct the Postal Service and by the president's refusal to support extra funding. And uh, it just seems, it seems like a sabotage. Others see no issues. I believe that it's overdone. I don't think that there's a problem. The political firefight prompted members of Congress, including Watson Coleman, Donald Norcross, Josh Gottheimer, and more in New Jersey, to rally round a local post office today in response to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's battle call to action. Pelosi wrote, in time of a pandemic, the Postal Service is election central. Americans should not have to choose between their health and their vote. Pelosi's called the House back into session on Saturday for an emergency vote on a measure to pump $25 billion into the Postal Service and block further attempts to interfere with its operations. We have an election coming up. Instead of cutting services, instead of taking mailboxes out of service, instead of uh, attempting to take processing machines out of circulation, we should be doing just the opposite. Congressman Bill pascrell has gone even further, asking New Jersey's attorney general to launch a criminal investigation against the president and his postmaster for subverting New Jersey's election. Today, Gerber Graywall tweeted he will be suing the Postal Service. And I believe that there's an attempt here by governments of the United States of America to slow down the vote. The president made his point clearly on Fox Business Network last week. If we don't make a deal, that means they don't get the money. That means they can't have universal mail-in voting. While many Republicans claim the Postal Service will be fine and call Pelosi's bill unrealistic and unnecessary, New Jersey Republican Chris Smith wrote in a July letter to DeJoy, I have consistently opposed efforts to privatize or diminish the services of the U.S. Postal Service. I continue to support proposals in Congress to provide the U.S. Postal Service with a minimum $25 billion in emergency funding. The Postal Service says it stopped removing mailboxes and sorting machines amidst the outcry from lawmakers. Meanwhile, Postmaster DeJoy has agreed to testify before a Senate committee on Friday and a House committee on Monday. In Ewing, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.